Hey guys, it's Danielle from Our Roaming Hearts, and today I want to talk about the Pier 60 Park. This is in Clearwater Beach, Florida, and that is just west of Tampa. This is right down the road from the Clearwater Aquarium, home to Winter and Hope. I'll leave some links in the description to my videos from the Clearwater Aquarium and Winter and Hope and all that. The park is right on the beach. I suggest if you're going to go get there early because we were we got there at about 9 a.m. We were able to find good parking. The parking lot was not even close to full. Um, and by the time that we looked again, less than an hour later, it was packed. It is pay to park. So once you get there and you get all head up towards the beach, one of the first things that you start to see are the little the shower stations where you can shower off from the seawater, shower or rinse your feet off. And they are all done up with these little turtles on top and they're beautifully decorated. So they're they're not just those plain old metal ones you see at most of the beaches. Uh, they do have a very um, islandy tropical feel since you are in Florida. They really did want to play that up while you're there, even down to the different signs, keeping it very tropical. And they have lifeguard stations down there, which is a big experience or big must for this mama when it comes to the different uh, beaches that we visit. What is different about this beach than a lot of the other Florida beaches in the area is they have those little blue cabanas everywhere. So you get the different shades and I believe it's enough to fit two chairs in. Um, they do provide the chairs. All over the, the park area, they have these little statues. This one's a sea turtle, then they have dolphins that you can get pictures with, and they have a lot of great photo opportunities. My kids loved it, as you can see. They were so excited to take a picture there. Even my youngest, I got a little smile out of her. This one was right next to the pier. They have an amazing fishing pier there. As you can see, it's lined with the different palm trees and everything. They do have several different uh, play parks uh, for the kids. I love that they are covered and shaded. This is something new that a lot of the parks in Florida are starting to do, even some of the ones down by my parents' house. Uh, they're putting up these roofs basically over the the playground and some of the schools are even putting some shading netting up to prevent or to protect the kids from the sun so they still have the whole experience of playing on the playground uh, there's sand down there at the the playground with them um, and they're still able to be outside and take in all the fresh air but it's shaded so you don't have to worry so much about sunburn and they're able to play longer uh, and I just think that was amazing for them to have. They have um, two separate playgrounds there, one designed for uh, younger kids, one designed for um, some of the older kids. They have these little um, water fountains there and they're beautifully decorated. It's got a little foot wash there for the sand. It's got water fountains and some beautiful art with it. They also have all sorts of different activities on the beach. They have this huge inflatable slide. While we were there, we saw everything from people snorkeling to um, walking around with metal detectors. There they have little shops um, and places you can pick up snacks a lot right there on the pier as well or right by the, the pier. I highly suggest taking a walk down the pier. It is a beautiful walk and there's several different shaded areas. There's a couple benches along the way and you can just get different views of the beach that you can't normally get unless you're out on the pier. Uh, that includes views straight down the beach, the little cabanas, different views at, at the different water levels. Then you get out over the water. So you have the different views there. Very, very beautiful, very great backdrop if you want to take family pictures. Great place to see some wildlife. We saw seagulls and pelicans and uh, sometimes you can see some of the fish and there's just lots of birds in the area. The lifeguard team, they're very good with being vigilant and rescues. Uh, I know this because we saw one of the lifeguards um, performing a rescue while we were there. There was a gentleman um, out in the water. I'm not sure exactly what happened because we didn't see what happened. Um, I did see the lifeguard swimming out to him with that almost like the Baywatch um, life vest on his back, the, the buoy on his back. That's what kind of caught my eye uh, while I was taking pictures. And there was another lifeguard on a surfboard out there. So this may have been like a practice with him being out there. I don't know for sure but they, you, we were able to watch the lifeguard swim out there. He gave the gentleman the red uh, life buoy. And then what I thought was amazing was all of a sudden I see this guy, the lifeguard swimming back and the guy pulling the guy with him that was being rescued, but he was swimming back at like double the speed that he swam out there. 
And that's when I realized that this life vest buoy that they gave him is actually attached to a string and a motor back on the beach and they were pulling him back into safety. So that's an amazing new safety feature that they have. They can get them in twice as fast and, and get them um, back to safety. So that was amazing to see. And you can kind of see them. It just kind of looks like a little torpedo going through the water there. I mean, it was pretty fast. Also along the pier, they have uh, another one of these dolphins. Now all throughout Clearwater Beach, they have these dolphins all painted. Every one of them is uniquely painted, unique designs that you can go and, and see them. Some of them are along the sidewalk, some of them are on the beaches, some of them are in the front of shops or restaurants and different locations. But they do have this one um, on the pier and another one my kids loved having their picture taken with, as you can see. And then on the side, it has different mermaids painted there. A great backdrop right on the water. At the end of the pier there, they have a little fishing area and you have to pay to go beyond that if you're gonna go fishing. So you can, you can walk out so far and then if you're gonna go fishing, you can go even further. And then at the end, when you're at the other end of the pier and you look back, you just have an amazing perspective of all the hotels and the buildings along the beach there. And um, you could see, you know, looking back towards the, the little cabana, cabanas there in the shade and the beaches and it's just a completely different view down there. As you're walking along the beach area, pay attention, they have a lot of different art and sculptures like this dolphin sculpture that they have there. So lots to see, it's a great way to spend a, a morning or an afternoon or even an entire day at the beach. There's plenty to do in the area. Um, you can park there and kind of walk across the street. There's a restaurant, Krabby's over there. There's uh, several sea sightseeing excursion tours, including a pirate ship one that leaves from the marina on the across from the park. Uh, the beach park over there. You can walk down the strip there and there's all sorts of shops and restaurants and things to do. Uh, there's hotels right there so you can stay at a hotel, park your car at the hotel and then walk down to the pier beach all within walking distance. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them and I hope you will give this video a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe so that we can connect. I would love to connect with you.